when we're talking about abdominal contouring, there are three components to that. You know, someone comes in and says, you know, make this look better. And they're looking at their stomach. So I have to assess how much of this is fat, how much of this is skin and skin quality changes, and how much of this is muscle looseness. Men don't have muscle looseness for the most part, unless they've weighed, you know, 350 pounds and now they've lost 200 of those pounds. They might have some muscle stretch similar to a, a pregnancy just from the previous intra-abdominal fat that was there to expand those muscles. But for the most part, muscle is not a problem for the men. So for the women who have had babies or who have had massive weight loss, the muscle stretch component does matter very much. So if someone comes in with no muscle issues, good skin tone, and just some extra fullness that they want to contour, we're not necessarily going to talk about a tummy tuck. That's going to be liposuction. Oh, okay. Because a tummy tuck, and more often in men, it's liposuction that we use to do the contouring in men because they don't often have the muscle component that needs to be corrected. Uh, and they usually have better skin quality than women. Again, unless they've had massive weight loss because stretch marks set in and that's a sign of loss of elasticity in skin. Once you have stretch marks, that skin's not going to snap back and ever be flat and smooth again. Um, so if someone's had massive weight loss, a man, then we might start with liposuction and see how far we get with that. And if there's just too much loose skin left behind, that's not going to snap back and sit flat. Then we do a male tummy tuck. 